WWE Royal Rumble. What's up, guys? It's the champ here. We're bringing our Royal Rumble predictions. I got Will Antwoord here with me. What up? We got six matches to go on the card. And let's get into it right away with our first guest. We got Dougie over here, Shadow Kid. How's it going, my man? Uh, we're doing okay. Alrighty. So, first, why don't you tell them what match we got coming up? Well, we have... What, the tag division matchup? Yeah, the Raw Tag Team titles. We got the Bar versus Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan. For the Raw Tag Team Championships. Who do you got? Well, I like both teams myself, but <clears throat> but I don't think uh, Rollins and uh, Jason Jordan are ever gonna like co like be a team on this night. So I'm going with the other team. Go with the bar with the I'm fusion. With bar. Fusion, ha! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball Z reference. If you guys obviously don't know who that is. Um. I personally, I gotta go with you on this one. I gotta agree with you. I don't think Rollins and Jordan are retaining their tag titles. There's too much infighting. But then again, that could just be um, part uh, of the skit. Yeah, it could be part of the whole storyline going. Who knows? And they're like they're pretending not to like each other to get in the bar's head, and then they just they get together and they kick their asses. Who knows? What you got William? There's the what? Women's Rumble match. Women's Royal Rumble, yeah. First ever Women's Royal Rumble. But before we get to that, what was your? who do you think is going to win the tag match? Well, you know Seth Rollins. He always pulls something out of the hat. That's true, he does. He's the man that won the one-legged kicking contest with Triple H, remember? <laughs> that was something. Alright, so, as you mentioned earlier, we have the Women's Royal Rumble match. Yeah. So far we have 18 entrants, but like there's only 20 women on the whole roster, so we're going to see a bunch of call-ups, a bunch of old women superstars coming back. But as it stands, the field right now from SmackDown, we've got Naomi, Ruby Riot, Natalia, Carmella, who's Miss Money in the Bank, Tamina, Lana, Lib Morgan, Sarah Logan, and Becky Lynch. And from Raw, we have Alicia Fox, Dana Brooke, Mickey James, Nia Jax, Sonya Deville, Bailey, Mandy Rose, Sasha Banks, and Asuka. Ah, personally, I gotta go with Asuka. Unless a certain somebody who's rumored to be coming into the WWE for a couple of matches will be showing up. But if not, I gotta say Oscar's gonna take this. What do you got, Dougie? Yeah, well, I got the same point as you have. I got Oscar myself because she's like, she's like a great defender all around. See, Nia Jax, see how Oscar took up Nia Jax the, like, couple weeks on Raw yeah. with her leg injury or whatever. But you see, anything could go in this football, man. Anybody could win. But my pick is Oscar. Well, you will. I'd actually have to agree with you guys on this one. Unless Oscar Tamina freaking pulls something or one of the other divas does something. Yeah. See, here's the thing. People are saying, like, oh, if Asuka loses this match, our undefeated streak will be gone. No, it's not. No. It no. won't be gone. She just got tossed over the top rope. She didn't get panned. She didn't get made to submit. And uh, I don't get what people are saying about that. Like, it... It makes no sense. Yeah, she if doesn't... anything else, then if anything else, Nia Jax will be the first one thrown over. Like, well, she's gonna come in the ring, she's gonna come in the ring, she's gonna come in the ring, and all the dealers is just gonna go right at her and try to throw her over. I know it, I know it's gonna happen. It's bound to happen. But how she's will like the, the heaviest guy. How you know? will anyone get Nia Jax over the top rope? It's She's so big, how's it gonna happen? <laughs> Same okay. way they do it with all the big men wrestlers, like Big Show, and a few others, they take like two or three people and yeah, over the top rope. Does not understand sarcasm. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So, we all have Asuka across the board. So, let's get on to the final match. The, the Raw Universal Championship. One of the biggest matches in WWE history. You've got Brock Lesnar 
We got Kane and Braun Strowman. And I think we all know what's going to happen if you've been reading the rumors. But all the same, I'd like to get your thoughts on it. Who do you think is going to win? Well, this is a big hard one because, you see, all three of them have destroyed the house down the past weeks on Raw. Yeah, did you see what happened a couple of weeks ago with Braun Strowman? Oh, that yeah. That was crazy. Pulled his little and then, la and then just past last week on the 25th anniversary of Raw, Power Slam Lesnar through the table. Power Slam, yeah. See, Power Slam is Lesnar through the table. You see, Kane had nothing in that one. See, that's exactly why I don't think he's going to win. But, see... Um, if I was going to pick a contender, and I was going with the guy, I think it may be Strowman. Because I think, like, they're trying to put him as big as what he's supposed to be. So, I don't think Lesnar's coming out of this one with the win, either. So, uh, so you're saying Strowman, you think Strowman's so going to win? So, I'm thinking Strowman's going to win the Triple Threat match. Interesting. What about you, Will? I think Lesnar will retain it. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that. Cause they, it's been it's been rumored for months now since like last year's WrestleMania they're building towards Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. So Lesnar's not losing the title. It sucks because Strowman's on a tear and like he could use that universal. T well, he doesn't need it, but it, it definitely. It would definitely slow his momentum if he doesn't pull out with the victory, which is, I guess, why they put Kane in the match, because he can eat the pinfall from Lesnar. So, I think you're right. I think Lesnar's going to retain his title. So, for now, we will take a short break. We'll bring on our second guest with the second half of our Royal Rumble predictions, and we will see you in a minute. Do you like these idiots? Well, subscribe to their new YouTube channel. BBDS Productions. <laughs> and we're back, guys. So, we're going to do something a little different. We're just going to bring on one other person, but we got somebody else who wants to give his thoughts on one of the matches. So, let's bring in Bob Sagan. <laughs> whoop, whoop. No, it's not the real Bob Sagan, but it's close enough. Yeah, I'm not as rich. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Unfortunately. So, so Bob. We'd like to know, who do you have for the Usos versus Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin in a two out of three falls match for those SmackDown Tag Team titles? First fall, who do you have? Usos. Usos take the first fall. Usos I gotta say... take all three. They take all three? Oh, they're so... They're taking all three, crushing them. <laughs> so they're taking two straight, two out of three, huh? Yeah. Alrighty. Um, I think uh, Benjamin and Gable are gonna take the first fall. And then the Usos will take the second, and then it's going to get like really down to the wire. And I think Benjamin and Gable are going to win the SmackDown Tag Titles. Maybe not go on too long of a run, but I think they're going to beat the Usos and have maybe one more match at the next SmackDown pay-per-view. What do you got, Will? Well, it would be the same thought as you, but I'm going to go with the Usos taking it all. So, Usos first of all, Benjamin, Gable, and then Usos. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well then, that's that. Stay tuned. We got part three coming up with Troublemaker. Are you yourself a musician or do you have a friend that's a musician? Well, if you guys are looking to get nominated in this year's Lyrically So Dope Music Video Awards, then contact me directly. Serious inquiries only. Lyrically So Dope. Lyrically So Dope Records. And we're back with part three. We're going to make this really fast. Let's bring in Troublemaker. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. So, we're just going to go bang, bang through these things. Who do you got for the men's Royal Rumble match? Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. I think I'm going to, unless, unless Roman Reigns enters it, i got to go with Shinsuke Nakamura. Well, who do you have? Uh, let's see. Who all is in this match now? Uh, let's see. we got the... Finn Balor, we got Ty Dillinger, Shinsuke Nakamura. It's gotta be Sting. <laughs> uh, who else? Um, let me pull out, pull out my trusty phone. You had to do this, didn't you? I'm saying Bray Wyatt's gotta take it though, follow the buzzards, you know? 
Okay, Elias, Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura, John Cena, Finn Balor, Baron Corbin, Matt Hardy, Bray Wyatt, Rusev, Aiden English, Apollo Crews, Titus O'Neil, The Miz, Ty Dillinger, Big E, well, basically New Day. Okay. That's all that's in there so far. Balor Club balls away. Finn Balor? Alrighty. Last but not least, we got WWE Championship match and a two-on-one handicap match. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, Team Cammy, as AJ Styles would like to say, versus AJ Styles, the WWE Champion. I gotta go with my boy, AJ Styles. He's been my favorite ever since TNA about 2009, so I gotta pick him. Who do you got? Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Okay, yo. So it's, a, it's basically a handicap match. So yeah, but Kevin Owens. Kevin win. Owens' team, Team Cammy. Who do you got? Well, you never know with Sami Zayn. So you think Sami's gonna get the pinfall? More or less. He needs a title sometime. Yeah, but he'll be co-WWE champion with Kevin Owens. That whole thing's messed up. <coughs> no. If Sami Zayn gets the fucking pinfall, it's his main title. Right, but he said he's gonna share it with Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens doesn't need shit. Well, anyway, that's gonna do it for us, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Peace. Laters.